Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is step by step guide for simulating 4 is to 1 MUX in Verilog using Xilinx Vivado tool. Myself Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, FIT Academy of Engineering, Alandi Pune. So, moving ahead with the today's topic, I'll be explaining how to use the tool that is Xilinx Vivado tool for simulating 4 is to 1 MUX. In previous session, we have seen what are the different modeling style, how to model your combination and sequential circuit, how to write down the code in Verilog. So we have seen data flow modeling style for writing Verilog code uh, for 4 is to 1 MUX using ternary operator. So this code we have already seen. I'll be sharing the link of this video in the description box. So you can go through that. How to write a test bench that is also I have explained and how to see the simulation. Everything we'll be seeing now through tool. So click on Vivado 2019.4. Don't click in HLS. This is different and this is different. So this is the Vivado tool 2014.4. Click on this. In this, on the first screen, you'll be able to see create new project. Now, Select a folder where you need to write, uh, you need to create your project. So I have selected D drive. I'm clicking next. Click on this RTL project. Do not specify source at this time. You can click. If that is not click also, there is no issue. Next, over here, you need to select your device you are having in your lab or with you. So here we are having Arctic 7 board. So project category, I'll be selecting all. Family, Arctic 7 which is the FPGA board, again subfamily Arctic 7, package CHG324, speed grade dash 1, temperature all remaining. So this is what is the board we are having with us. Now what is the use of this property selection? Whenever you are generating the bits file and you are dumping that in, into your target device, that is the board you are having. In our case, it is the FPGA board, Arctic 7, and this is the property we have selected. So this is mandatory for that. If you are not selecting or if you are selecting it wrong, your bit file will not be dumped into the device because the devices will be different. So this selection is mandatory according to what hardware you are having in your uh, lab or in at your home. So I am clicking on finish. Once that has been done, you are able to see this window. Now this window is divided into different parts. So this is called as a process window. This is called as a source window. This is code window. And this is what is called as an error window. So whatever error you are able, uh, able to see, that will be available over here. Warnings info. Whatever code that is very low code you are writing that will be coming over here. If you are giving XDC file, Xilinx design constraint that will be available over here. And whenever you are writing test bench, that will be available over here. So all the sources will be present over here. Now, whatever the processes that is happening on this source file will be shown at this particular point. This is the design summary where you will be getting idea what is the project name, at which location it has been staved, and what is the product family, what is the device use, everything detail of your project you will be getting in the design summary that is present over here. Now click on the add sources, you will be getting this window, create file, select Verilog if anything else is selected. Then write a name. So I am writing mux4 underscore 1. I will be clicking OK. So it will be generating this file. I will be clicking this and finished. Once that has been done, you are able to see this name is coming as a module name. Now how many input output you are having to this particular mux that you need to define. So this is A, B, C, D, are four inputs to the mux select is a select line which is of width 2 that's why 1 is to 0 is mentioned and my output is y so that is mentioned over here so this is out once that has been done this is creating your ports availability over here so a b c d are the inputs select one and select of zero these are the select lines because it is defined as a bus and y is my output so that output is uh, selected okay once that has been done you will be able to see your file over here 
now here whenever you are clicking you are able to see this is getting highlighted and there are three dots coming that is your top model so you are working on this file that is the meaning so once you are clicking over here you will be getting this code window now here whatever the name you have given you are able to see it over here and input and output ports you are assigned now below to that you need to write a code and we are using here data flow modeling style so whatever code i am having with me which is i have shown you previously that i'll be writing over here that is using ternary operator so that i'm copy pasting so as to avoid long video so that is selected copied and i am just copying that code here now whatever the previously name i have given i have also changed that also if that is remain that is it as it is not an issue once that has been done just see here this particular model name is getting changed as per whatever i have modified now up to this we have seen assign is the keyword for data flow modeling style and this is the ternary or conditional operator where it indicates question mark and semicolon is the important part when the condition is true this first value below before colon will be assigned to y else this false value after colon will be assigned to this y so that particular part already i have cleared in the previous video whose link i'll be sharing in the description box once that has been done you need to save if some error is there it is getting highlighted over here for purposefully i'll be introducing one error i'll be saving so how you will be able to see the error that will be provided over here so they are getting highlighted whenever you are clicking on this that it will be showing somewhere here error is there and that you need to identify so i have identified and removed that error once that has been done now you need to see the synthesis that is you need to click on your source code that is the very log code which is indicated by dot v file and you need to click on this rtl analysis inside that open elaborated design once you are clicking over here you will be getting synthesis that is high level code that is rtl or very log code you have written it is converted into its gate level netlist and this structure you are able to see so this mux is implemented by using this way a b c d these are the four input this is what is the select line which is of 2 bit and this is what is your output y so this is implemented in this way there might be different way of implementation as per the code you are writing once that has been done again i'll be going ahead with the project manager now over here you need to write a test bench now what is the test bench test bench is a code written for generating soft input for this code to check the functionality whether it's working in the similar way as per the truth table or not for that you need to click on this add sources create simulation source then click on next create file write the name test bench under mux 4 underscore 1 any name you can give if you are starting with tb it it is uh, identification that it is a test bench that way you can start with the tb that is not a mandatory one so okay then finished once that has been done I'll be clicking on OK. So, yes. Once that has been done, you are able to see this TB underscore MUX is getting linked under simulation sources, but it is not linked with this code that is the UUT. So, I want to link it with this, and that's why you need to write a test bench in proper way that way so that this uh, code will be linked with the test bench so once clicking on this test bench i am getting this particular uh, part now i need to write a test bench so i'll be copying this from the previous uh, like how explain you how to write a test bench so so avoid that lengthy video i am just copying this test bench so this is what is the test bench written for 4 is to 1 max once that has been done I'll be pasting that over here. Now, what is the meaning of this test bench? That it is having name tb underscore mux underscore 4 underscore 1. Rage, that is the data type. 
all the inputs that are mentioned in your UUT that is the Verilog code that will be considered as a range over here which is the data type and all the outputs will be considered as a wire. Again this is the instance input of test bench is connected to the input of uh, output of the test bench is connected to the input of your UUT. This is very important that whatever the name you are writing over here mux underscore 4 underscore 1 this should be same as like a, your uh, source code that is this very log code. If you are writing something different suppose I am changing this what will be the effect of that just check. So once I am doing like that so over here you are able to see your test bench is linked to the UUT but it is showing question mark means this particular code is not available because you have not written mux underscore 4 anywhere and that's why it is shown as a question mark. Once you are changing it to your name of the Verilog code, you are able to see that is getting linked with this test bench. So after clicking, you are able to see now it is coming under your test bench. So this is mandatory that in this way your code should be linked to the test bench or test bench should be linked to the code. So this is the TB under which you will be seeing UUT means this test bench is written for this UUT. So this is very much important. Once that has been done, you need to write code to generate stimulus that is soft input. So initial begin inside that you have written this. Everything I have explained already in the previous video. So end. Once I am saving this. Now I need to click on this test bench and I need to click on this run simulation. Once that has been done, you will be getting simulation waveform which I have shown you previously. So where you can where you can verify whether functionality whatever you have specified is the same way or not. So you can check it. Now zoom it and you can check. So here in the same way whenever select line is 0 0 you are getting output as a 1 because A is 1. Whenever 0 1 you are again getting 1 because B is 1 rest of the inputs are 0. When 1 0 select line is there C is getting selected as C is 1 and that's why you are getting 1 over here. So 1 and whenever 1 1 D is getting selected as we have mentioned D as a 1 you will be getting output 1. So in this way we have verified uh, using simulation that whatever code we have written is properly functional and that way it is working properly. So this is for the today's session where we have seen how to use Xilinx Vivado tool how to create your Verilog source file, how to create test bench, then uh, over here how to go ahead with simulation as well as how to go ahead with the uh, synthesis that is gate level netlist. So hope you understood this particular things. In the next video we will be moving ahead with the hardware implementation that is creating XDC file and linking, uh, connecting your hardware and dumping that bit file into the target device. So thank you for patience listening. Thank you and happy learning.